Hello, Kieran here from Paisley YMCA Makerspace. And today we'll be looking at actually animating your stop motion stuff. I will always recommend that you finish off your storyboards and have your models or and sets all made up and ready to move straight into animating them as soon as possible. But before we get started, I'm gonna there's one term I'm gonna use quite a lot during this video and it's FPS or frames per second. That generally refers to the amount of pictures going past in a second. So if you think of it like a train where each carriage goes by so quickly it just blends into one train. But you don't see the gaps between. That's but One of the issues with frames per second is basically you need to take for example one that I would recommend is 16 frames per second. I would have to take 16 photographs for one second of animation. 24 frames per second is the sort of uh, professional standard and 18 is, is a good number, it's nice and smooth, it's still a lot of photos. Whereas 16, I think, is just perfect. So, another thing I'm going to touch on, but I'm not going to speak about it that much because it's just something you kind of do as you're animating, and that is ramping. Ramping is kind of taking smaller movements at the beginning and the end of a motion, and in the middle, moving just at normal speed it kind of gives it a more natural feel because stuff doesn't automatically just move at like 100 miles per hour it kind of eases into the movement and then eases back out so i'm sure by this point you're wondering like what's the big secret of stop motion animation what's this magic thing that goes on behind the scenes and truth be told it is make a slight movement to your model take a photo make a slight movement to your model, take a photo. That's it, it's just that over and over and over again until you get your model from A to B. Now to take these photos, you can use anything that takes a photo really, whether it's a camera, whether it's a phone, whether it's an iPad. There's loads of different things. And this is probably the shortest video ever because that that's it, easy as. So have fun with it. And I will see you next. Well, I'll see you next week. But next week will be like a sort of question and answers thing in case you have any issues during the animation process. So I'll see you guys next week.